Awoju. I'm from Enugu State, but I'm based in Lagos. I'm so excited to be giving this testimony. I've looked forward to this day for a very long time. Praise the Lord. One day, I stumbled upon Temple TV. I did not know that when I bought the cable, I bought it because of my children. I didn't want them watching Nollywood. So I bought cable so that they can be watching Mount Zion movies. I didn't know that God was using that channel to arrest us. That day the children had gone to school. And I saw the way, I was searching through channel. I saw the choir ministering in Isoko. People were dancing. I finished from Abraka and I love Isoko music. I started dancing in my parlor. I, was, I forgot I was a church channel. I don't listen to church channel. After the dancing, the man of God came out. He started blessing all of us that dance. Say amen. And I saw a man of God preaching with pidgin English. I won't lie. The church where we came from, the man of God, he's not educated too, but he used to pretend. He used to try to be among. So he would go on YouTube. He would go and study educated men of God and how they talk. And he would come and use it in his church. So I was expecting that if our daddy is not educated, he would do something. But he was original, natural. The message of the way everybody else says it. I was hearing message of holiness like I've never heard since I was born. I used to preach. I used to win souls for this one. He was hitting me. It's like the questions I've been asking God for years. He was addressing them. First time I tuned to the channel. He said, look at you. You think you have the Holy Spirit because you speak in tongues. You don't have the Holy Spirit. That's a spirit of error. He said, let me prove to you that you don't have the Holy Spirit. Winch no say the winch, they fly for night. Marine no say the marine, they go their meeting. You wake claim, say you'll be child of God. Why you know they see Jesus for your dream? Why you know they see angels for your dream? Why you know they dream of heaven? Why you be saying every time, attack, 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 attack? And, and I said to myself, so I don't have the Holy Spirit. That seemed very strange to me. I said, oh. he said, yes, some of you is anger. Anger is the reason you cannot. He was just talking to me. Because anger was, was one of my biggest challenges. My husband knows when I'm angry, I will lock him out. You are not sleeping in this house today, and he knows it. I used to be. And, and you are a preacher? Yes, sir. Not every time. Okay. But whenever that thing rings in my okay. head, I will lock my husband out. And my husband will start begging me, banging the door in the night, in the midnight, before I'll come and open the door. When I calm down, I will come and apologize. But that minute and my head is hot. Just leave me alone. I can do anything. I can destroy anything. It was that bad. So Pastor Emo said, some of you, it's because of anger, the Holy Spirit cannot live in you. When you wake up in the morning, take water, put it in cup, drink it. Tell God to take away the spirit of anger. I said, it's true. I have anger issues. Okay. I started doing it in the morning. I will take water. Lord, take away anger. Take away anger. I will drink it. My husband started noticing changes in me. I told me, is that man of God that you are listening to that is making you change like this. Because he did something to me that pained me to my bone. He was expecting me to react the way I normally do. I just cried and I let it go. That night, my husband was afraid to sleep on the bed. He was waking up and checking me. He said, in case I want to stab him in the night, let him be alert. Hallelujah. So the next morning, he told me, sir, you didn't do anything. You, didn't, you let that matter just go like that. I said, what do you want me to do? I want to make heaven. If you don't want to make heaven, then so be it. He said, Shay, is this man of God that you are listening to that is working on you like this? I said, yes. That was when my husband started paying keen interest to Temple Channel. Jam your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. We started watching together. We were watching together. Then the day he talked about earrings, Jewelries, makeup. Ah, I said, I've been listening since, but now he has missed it. I said, I don't want to hear it. Because the church where I grew up spiritually, they taught us that those things don't matter. So I, I used to, when I worship, I used to feel the presence of God then, but it wasn't staying. So I didn't believe that I didn't have it, and I didn't believe those things could stop you. I said, This man has missed it. I won't listen again. So I didn't listen again. Then one day I stumbled in again. He was doing deliverance. I saw him casting out demons, and the demons were saying that all these things, they are properties of the marine, that they enter the people through the... That one bothered me. I said, if I don't believe the man of God, what are the demons? Are they also lying? 
So I went to pray. I said, God, I know you hear me. You are my father. If what this man is preaching is true, if you sent him, reveal it to me. I prayed. How weak. I saw Jesus in my dream. Do you know, sir? I used to see Jesus in my dream once in a blue moon, maybe once in four years. And anytime he looks at me, the countenance was never good. Whenever he comes to me in the dream and he wants to change my name, when he sees my weave on, my weave on will be pulling, pressing my head down in the dream. When he sees my weave on, he will frown. And he will tell me not to wear that thing again and he will walk away. So I had not seen it in a long time. That day I saw him. He came, he showed me the holes on his palm. And then he showed me the holes on his feet. He now told me that this is the hole he got on the cross where he died for man. That do I know the meaning of the hole? I said no. He said, the dead in Christ. Pastor, he must preach this thing the previous week. Jesus came to me in the dream and he was repeating the same thing. He said, the dead in the Christ on the day of rapture will go through the, feet, the holes on his feet. He said, we are alive. We will go through the holes on his path. He now told me that revelation. He said, do you know what this thing means? I said, no. He said, if you do not slim fit yourself so that you are slim enough to go through the holes on my palm, you will not see my rest. As he said that, he now told me, his voice was echoing. He said, anything artificial, I'm quoting him, anything artificial. He said, let me them. Wigs, weapons, jewelry, makeup, lashes, nails. He was listing them. He said, they go nowhere. Go. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. What I'm preaching here, God is revealing it to people. They are from where so? Eh? They are from Lagos. Yes. You see, people when they watch the channel, more than those who sit here. And people when they confirm temple, they are in your house praying. Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? And you went there, yeah? and that's when you live here, you go put it on. So when you appear to you, he show you the hole. Yes, sir, he showed me the hole on his hands and on his legs. That was the first thing he did. Before he started listing those things, at one tell me. When are the tell people we get through Jesus? They all agree. Through Jesus, through spirit, through gospel. The other Jesus now fake. He don't want to appear. He know they show you who. But if you don't want to appear, he must show you the who. Amen. And he can't detain for you. He listed them in such one tell men that they go nowhere. Anybody putting on those things. When I woke up from that revelation, I was shaking. I checked the time, it was four in the morning. I woke my husband and love, I started seeing Jesus. I entered my wardrobe, that was all I needed to hear. I packed out all my trousers. Even my trouser suits, I used to do trainings. I packed out everything, my makeup, yeah, everything. I packed out my daughter's own, all the trousers I bought for my daughter. All her beads, I used to buy her matching beads with her gown. My daughter was crying. I said, no, I've seen Jesus. We don't need this. We packed everything and dumped them outside. As we did that, he started coming. More often. Jesus. Yes. <laughs> the visit became very regular. He came again. He started to remove my wedding ring. He started to take it away. Then he said, I changed this one. I had this gold plated this watch. I gifted myself on my birthday. Very expensive. He started to remove it. And I was struggling. He was very fine. He used to give me this. He started to remove it. As I removed it, he said all the shiny, shiny things in my wardrobe. Breaking, breaking. Yes, yes, sir. All of them. Sequence. And I had this um, um, material, two wrapper with the top. Please, it shines. That you remove it. That I cannot wear this again. And then it came to me, high heels. I, I was an ardent lover of high heels. You can't catch me without my heels. I used to feel very. All those, all those Jersey bell. That will be like a needle. Yes, I have plenty. He told me to remove my high heels. So I removed them. I left one. That one was red. It wasn't. It was blocked and heels. So I left that one. I didn't think that that one was a mom. One day he came. He said, Why are you still wearing heels? 
Because that shoe, anytime I wear it, it cuts. I didn't know it was God cutting it. Whenever I wear it and go out, it all cuts. those high ones. Yes, sir. Well, those pastor wife they wear till they preach for altar. Yes, sir. So anytime I wear it, it will cut. It will be embarrassing me. I will go and fix it, and I will wear it again. So that day he came. In the dream, I was carrying my shoe. I was looking for a shoemaker to fix it. He now told me, "Why are you still wearing heels? Don't you know that heels is associated with the spirit of pride?" As he said that to me, I woke up. No, uh, we need to know. I want to sit down for this testimony. He said. The high heel, high heel. as you say with as spirit of pride. Because when you are coming, yeah, your steps are different. Mm. You are very high and elegant. Shoulders raised up. I removed the shoe. He started coming. One day he came, he took me by the hand. He said he wants to show me something. He carried me to hell. Sir, so you used to say something. You used to say that people are still living in sin because they've not had an encounter with Jesus. That if you have an encounter with Jesus, you'll be running away from sin. It's very true. The day Jesus showed me hell, I saw fire like I've never seen before in my life. You know, hot water, when water is boiling in the pot, bubbling. I saw fire bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. But I didn't see anybody inside. I was afraid. I said, what is this? He said, this is hell. He said, this is where the souls of men are coming to when they die. He said, but they don't know. And they are still living in sin. And I knelt down, I started crying, I was begging him like this. I said, Lord, please don't let me come here, this is terrible. I was crying, he said, get up. I'm not showing you this because you are coming here, you are my own. I'm showing you where the souls of men are coming to. Go and tell them that hell is real. And I woke up. He started coming. One day he came to me in a revelation. He said, do you know that my children have no business with any cream? That has hydroquinone. Mm. <laughs> hydroquinone, that's bleaching effect. Is that anything? That cream when they made first in the bridge. Yes, yes, when some women they all rub copy like pig. Yes, sir. When you just water choice their body, they go to draw like okro. Yes, <laughs> See, I tell people something. <laughs> you are not born again until you get to temple. You are not born again until you put your feet here and until you start listening to temple tv all these things i never would have known it was when i started this church god started revealing deep things about the spiritual realm to me he said any cream that has hydroquinone he said he not told me that the way i created you is the way i must meet you when i come back everybody stand up for jesus I told you when you build your house you will paint them in your own color when you go take like them when you are about to come and park enter your house as you reach here they don't change the paint will you happy at loop the bridge Ram the bridge, then the go hospital. Who be their daughter? Who be their daughter? They get me the wife when they deliver them. Eh? No, sir. All right. All the monkey, all the old animal. You don't see animal when they say change the color. No, sir. <laughs> Every day now they look mirror. I be at the yellow. I go hear the voice. Now my anointing make you the fair. <laughs> when you are a black, remain black. Yellow is yellow. Not carry cream when go change that color when God say paint you because you are a house. You are a house. Many people won't wait 
May God appear to them. Say shit before they shit. Chop before they chop. The language where you make sure so. Repeat it. It's a guy wanting when he did inside the cream. Eh? Hydroquinone. Hydroquinone. Where the main person is. Yes, sir. Now Jesus make sure that for you. Yes, yes, sir. You won't make a <laughs> and your cream full your table jam. You go rub cream for 30 minutes. You never come up for his away your cream day. Your soul say went to the bath. You did add a queen on the side because you did preach. You go meet chemists, make them miss cream where you go make you yellow. On a non preach, so to on a high call, be three step black, black, yellow, black, blue, blue. Some boys here, you are a black person, you don't rock with don't talk to uh, uh, oh, bobo, oh, bobo, no, be oh, bobo, oh, bobo. Are you say I'm a child of God, I'm a child of God. If I tell you what you want to for the whole world, then they tell you. No church. When did they wear all those things? Go see heaven. No. Hey. Oh, yeah. oh. So I say I'm foolish. When I open any channel and they watch your channel too. Because they are mistake, they correct me. When the pastor they shout, they preach, I go to wash her. I go to wash her. But as I show a congregation, I will offer. Say number this one. Because your congregation, now you go show who you are. When I see somebody wife, I go know who your husband be. All those women wear the nickel with their pine for her side. They are, they are husband, they are wayward men. Praise the Lord. I'm going to summarize very fast. I wrote down some things he told me so that I don't forget. I'm going to summarize. When I woke up from that revelation, I asked him, so which cream will we now use? Because my cream had hydroquinone. He said I should go to a baby shop and buy baby creams. That baby creams have not been contaminated. So we use baby med in my house till date. Hallelujah. He also told me that a lot of perfume brands in the market and body space have been corrupted by the kingdom of darkness. He showed me a name, Versace. And he told me to look at the logo on that brand. So I looked at the logo. I saw a woman with a scattered hair. He said, I should put the logo on Google so that I can see the image very well. I put it on Google, I saw a woman with snakes on her head, instead of her, she had snakes. And he told me that that brand is polluted, that his children should not wear anything, that that brand is one of them. Since then, I've been very prayerful if I buy things in my But some things he told me, hallelujah, some things he told me, let me talk about pictures, tearing of pictures. When I came to this church, I heard that when we came for baptism, Pastor said that we have to tear all our pictures that had idols. And I went back to Lagos after about my wedding pictures. I wore all those things. And I was struggling with it, but I obeyed. I tore my wedding pictures and my traditional marriage pictures. About two nights later, Jesus came to me in the dream. And he told me that I am not done destroying the pictures. I just did it to obey Pastor. But I didn't know that Jesus took it very seriously. Pictures. So he told me that I'm not done with destroying my pictures. I said that I've destroyed all of them, even the ones I took when I was in the university. He said I should open my iPad and my laptop and my phones. That the soft copies of my wedding pictures are there. I should delete them. My iPad, my laptop, my phones, I had to delete all the soft copies. He told me social media my display picture because i'm a coach online i had to go and do another photo shoot where i was not wearing earring or any of this where i was looking natural and i removed all the 
natural wounds on pictures. That was what he showed me. Then he came to me, he was showing me geos. Geos of churches that people are running after and are ready to die for. I won't call names of churches, but he showed me a few I want to mention. Number one, the number one prosperity church in Nigeria. They have many universities and they have many private jets. You should know the church I'm talking about right now. He told me, showed me the man of God. He said, this one is not my own. He said, people are running after him, calling him man of God, man of God. He's not my own. He's leading men to hell. Two days later, he showed me another geo. I will describe him. You will know him. I'm saying this so that if you are watching cable and you are watching me, and you are in those churches, come out because you are on your way to hell. Hallelujah. I saw a man of God. He's light-skinned. He pems his hair. He speaks in tongues a lot. And he does a lot of miracles. By now, you should know who I'm talking about. His pastors, they pem their hair, some of them. He said, look at him. He's not my own. People are running after him. Man of God, man of God. It's not for me. He showed me about three revelations of the man. What the man is doing in his church to perform miracles. How his members are bowing down to him how he has held them in the realm of the spirit they can't listen to you anything you say to them he said it's not my own then he showed me the one that shocked me the most he showed me my former geo i won't call the church but i will mention what you will use to know the church is the number one church in nigeria that introduced fall down and die fall down and die prayer he showed me the man he said this one is my seed he said, I called him. I saw cross of Jesus on his forehead. He said, I called him and I gave him ministry. But now he has derailed. He has missed it. He has fallen away. He will not make the rapture. He will come later after the great tribulation. I woke up. It was too heavy. So when Jesus tells me some things, they are too heavy for my ear. I told my husband. I called daddy. I told daddy. Daddy said, God wants to use you to correct the man. That's why God is speaking to you. Go and see the man. If you can talk to him and he can humble himself and repent of his ways and come to temple and baptize, we make rapture. I tried to reach him. No way. I sent several WhatsApp messages. No response. Then the Lord showed my little child the same revelation that this geo missed rapture. In our own case, G Demons were torturing the man to receive the mark of the beast. He refused. And in another revelation, God showed my, my child, me, preaching to the Jew. And the Jew was listening and he was correcting himself. And rapture happened and he made it. So when, I, when my, my child told me the dream, I said, it's a, it's a warning. I should do more to reach this man. So I called the church. They said I should write a letter and bring to the Jew's office. I wrote the letter. I told him, sir, warning from the Lord, you missed rapture in my revelation. I sent that night, he chatted me up on WhatsApp. He said, I should tell him the revelation. I should use only one voice note. I should be very brief with one voice note, but I should be as detailed as possible. I said, one voice note, because God is showing me about four revelations of this man, what he's doing in his church that is wrong. So I couldn't do it all in one. I did four audios. He listened to just the first one. He did not listen to the rest. He abandoned. I said, God, I've done my part. Oh. Hallelujah. Then he showed me baptism. In my revelation, the month we were prepared, because we came to worry in February to see daddy. Daddy told us that our marriage was under a curse. That my husband has to repay my bride price, my father's husband. We started working to it. So in April, when we were praying over, we called daddy, can we come? He said, we can. Have we been meeting ourselves since we came in February? We said, no. So he said, we can come. That month, I saw Jesus in my dream. He himself baptized me in the water and brought me out and told me I had been baptized. When I woke up, I told my husband, this baptism we are going for, it will be successful because Jesus baptized me in the dream. And that was the month we were preparing for baptism in the name of Jesus. So we baptized here in the name of Jesus. Then he came in white. He now told me that now he wants to show me the assignment he has for me. When I did the first baptism, I never had an encounter with Jesus. But when I baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus, he came and showed me the assignment he has for me. We were preparing for rapture. He said, see children, teenagers, go.
go to schools, penetrate schools with academic seminar, use it to win souls in schools. Because my children, I saw some teenagers wearing white, some wearing mop. He said the ones wearing white are mine, but they are not ready. The way Amos is teaching in the church, that is how you will preach in secondary schools. Tell them the real end time message and let them give their life to God. I started doing it. The attacks increased. Sometimes when I preach, lion will face me in the night. They come in different forms. But the daughter of a lion is a lion. Hallelujah. I'm still going and I'm still preaching. Now, let me talk about chain wristwatch because some of us don't believe that we should take it away. I had an auntie. I preached to her. She removed her jewels. God now, Jesus showed me in the dream that she's still wearing chain wristwatch. Chain wristwatch. He said, tell her to take off the chain wristwatch. Tell her that some of her tops are still very open. She should stop wearing them. Tell her that white lies, lies, small, small lies will lead her to hell. She has three chain wristwatches. She refused to let go of them. She said, chain wristwatch is not a sin. And it can never lead a man to hell. I said, okay, I've done what Jesus told me to tell you. It's up to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, let me talk about money. I'm trying to round up because of time. I bought this funnel. I bought this funnel. Because in one of my revelations, God did an illustration for me with a funnel. So in that revelation, before then, something happened to me. A lady chatted me up. I'm a coach online. I sell digital products. She said, Holy Spirit sent her to me. For me to teach her public speaking. So I sold my product to her at the highest price. There's something we do. We call it customer profiling. When you perceive that a customer has more money, you charge more. When you perceive that a customer doesn't have much, you charge the normal price. So I profiled her and I charged the highest amount for that cost. After that, my dream changed. I started having some bad, bad dreams. I said, what's going on? Then I saw a revelation. I was stained at the back. My garment was stained at the back. Jesus was there speaking to me. He said, Money. He said, You have to be very careful of money if you want to make rapture. He now told me that money is the reason that a lot of people will not qualify to make rapture. He now showed me a funnel. He said, The kingdom of God is like this. When you preach, you gather all sorts of souls into the kingdom. They are all at the mouth. The mouth is very wide. It contains all sorts of people. He said as the end time message begins to deepen, when the end time message of forgiveness is preached, those who cannot forgive, they are left out at the first layer. Those who can forgive, enter the next layer. When they preach on anger, those who can stop getting angry, we move to the next layer. The rest are cut off. He said when they preach on fornication, those who can stop it will move. He now told me that, do I know the last layer? He said, this is where his children are. He said, see how wide the funnel mouth is. He said, this is the end product, very thing. He said, most of them are sieved away before they get to the tube. That is only those that make it to this tube that are his own. He now told me that the last thing that will, that will separate the goats from the sheep. He said, do I know what it is? I said, no. He said it's money. He now told me that because of money, a lot of people will not enter heaven. He said some people, the, the way they do business is wrong. He said he sent somebody to me. That the person told me that Holy Spirit sent her to me. That don't I know um, that she's my sister and that she's out of job now. I'm supposed to give her that thing for free. Instead, I charged her the highest possible amount. He said that was why the Holy Spirit left me. He said, the way I do business, he said, anything you have is for your brother and sister who is in Christ. If you charge that person that God sent to you, who has no money to afford it, you have missed it. He now told me to go to Matthew chapter 19 verse 21. He talked about the rich man who Jesus told to go and sell everything and come and follow him, walk away. He now told me to go to Acts chapter 2 verse 45. He said, the early church they sold all they had and brought it to the church. Nobody lacked. He said, any child of God who is making money and is gathering money, increasing wealth, gathering money in their account. He said, you are supposed to be a channel as a child of God through which the blessing will flow 
to your brothers and sisters in Christ who don't have. He said, anybody who has, who is keeping money in the bank, you are storing up, you are amassing wealth. He said, you can never make rapture. I started doing business differently. The more he was showing me this thing, the more I was afraid and I was changing. Let me talk briefly on what he showed me about pastor before I round up. He showed me in one of the revelations, I saw rapture. Rapture took place and I made rapture. When I got to heaven, I was dancing. I was jubilating, I was shouting, ah, we made it, we made it, we made it. As I was jubilating, he interrupted my praise. He now spoke to me, he said, you made it for one single reason. You made it because you were listening to my son, Amos, and you were obeying all his teachings. That is why you made it. He prepared you to make it to this place. I woke up. I was preaching in the bus, they would call me, they would say, no be that, no be that Urobo man, Isoko man. No be that Isoko man church. That Isoko man. That's what they refer to Pastor Amos as. But God has showed me that he's the one that will gather his children to make rapture. The last one, he said, he showed me myself, me and my husband. It looked like we left the ministry. We went to another ministry, we were paying tight. And he said to me, why did you leave this ministry? Why did you leave temple? I said, ah, but the message, he said, no. Why did you leave temple? Don't you know that that place is my ark? Where I'm gathering my own. He said, don't ever leave that place. No matter what happens, stay there until I come. When I woke up, I told pastor, I said, but we're not planning to leave. Why am I having this revelation? Pastor now told me that a shaking is coming. I don't know what will happen in future, but I want you to remember this revelation when the time comes. Because in a, one of the revelations God showed me about rapture, I saw pastor Amos gathering the sheep of God. Then I saw a fox. It came in black. It was scattering the sheep. And as Pastor Amos was pulling out the animal, the animal was pulling itself back in. Pastor was pulling it out. As he pulled it out and shut the door, rapture took place. He now told me that a shaking is coming. Please, whatever happens in temple, God is here. If you came from another ministry and he brought you here to prepare you for rapture, do not go anywhere. He said, any boys, I should say it in church here. That anybody that leaves this place and goes to another church after hearing the end time message has fallen away from the race. The last assignment he gave me is I should go to other churches. In one of my revelations, I almost missed the rapture. He said, Go to other churches, go to other people who are not attending temple. Tell them that if they don't baptize in my name, yes. In that revelation, I almost missed rapture. It was in two forms. The first one, I flew a little and then I came down. I was shouting, I said, God, I will make rapture. Lord Jesus, I was shouting. So I saw people from other churches. They ran to me and they were telling me that they didn't make rapture. The rapture. I said, how will you make rapture? Did you baptize in the name of the Lord Jesus? They said, no. I said, then you cannot go. They said, they didn't know that they were supposed to baptize. I said, they said, I should come and baptize them in the name of I said, no, a woman does not baptize. Besides, all the men who are filled with the Holy Spirit, who should have baptized you have all gone, so you are stuck. I said, nobody should disturb me. I'm crying for myself. I didn't go to. So as I was shouting, asking God for mercy, another revelation came. This time, I was actively asking people, have you baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus? Say no. Run to Jesus Christ's temple ministry. Go and baptize in the name of the Lord. If not, you will not make rapture. You, have you, I was doing that. I was doing that rapture took place. A force magnetized the earth and picked me. At my gaze was up. I was fa traveling faster than the speed of light. Straight into the sky. And before I knew it, the heavens opened. And we were in a big hall in heaven. We were jubilating, rejoicing that we made rapture. Two hankies entered my hands. And I was dancing to the feet of Jesus, calling him names, praising him for not allowing me miss rapture. And I woke up. So he was telling me in that dream that if I don't tell people in other churches that baptism is in his name, he said, People I'm doing business with, he put them around me for that reason. He said, I should preach. He said, people, I go to market and he said, I should tell them about the real baptism. He said, if I don't tell them, they will not go. And if they don't go, I will not go. So now, even when I do business online, I preach online. When I finish my business, I will tell them to wait behind. I will start preaching. People abuse me. People tell me, na pastor, you be, are you a pastor? Why will you gather us here to teach us and then you are preaching to us? Go and open church if you know that you want to be. I say, abuse me, no problem. I'm doing what Jesus told me to do. 
because I don't want your blood to be required of me. I go to schools, I pray, the attacks are very much, but to God be the glory.